So, let's talk about salad. We've done the meatballs, we've done the pasta. Let's do something a little bit more delicate, right? Uh, we're going to do a beautiful winter salad, celebrating the bounty of stuff that's available at the moment, and we're going to make it beautiful. But my inspiration for this is three very beautiful people that I love and respect. Uh, first on my right is the one and only Tim Sheaf. Yeah. Um, and if you don't know this boy, check out his YouTube channel. Uh, you're, a, you're a world champion free runner, yeah, aren't you? Yeah, that's correct. Uh, um, tell people that don't know what that is. What, what, free what running, is that? I, I'm a kid basically. I play, I climb on walls, I make the world my playground. Like when you're a kid, you have a built playground that you're sent to. And I got bored of that as I grew a bit bigger and I wanted something new, so I went into the street and started climbing on buildings. So are you one of these, they call it parkour, don't parkour they? Parkour, it came from France, yeah. So you're, ba you're dancing, spinning, hanging, jumping yeah, off of all just sorts. getting creative outside. And how's your channel going? It's good, we've got one youtube.com slash flow. Got about two, nearly 200,000 subscribers on there, done good. I just went to Hong Kong, just went to Egypt. Documentaries from those trips coming out soon, yeah. So you're a world champion, you are an athlete. Yeah. Uh, food's really important to you. It's incredibly important to me, And yeah. you are the vegan in the house. I am the vegan right here, yeah, yeah. So how long have you been a vegan? About almost two years now. And yeah. obviously, incredible strength is your thing. It's important You've been me, able yeah. to maintain that without meat. Not a problem, man. It's that chlorophyll from the, the greens, the green proteins, the broccoli, the spinaches. And then we got the oranges, sweet potatoes, the butternut squash, the pumpkins. It's so powerful. I'm going to dedicate realize, one salad yeah. to this man. Over thank here, you, thank see you. these two gorgeous girls. Yeah, pixie, pixie woo girls. Hello. Love these girls. <laughs> Dear friends, um, early, early YouTubers. Yeah. Um, and, and listen, I mean, I'm a geezer and I don't even wear makeup and I watch their stuff and I get addicted. It's like cooking, man. Uh, these girls, you help the women of the world. Yeah. Look beautiful. Gorby. Sometimes serious, sometimes sexy, sometimes funny. Is that, is that fair to say? Yeah. And you do it all yourself? We do it all, all ourselves. ourselves. Sisters, yep. lovely Absolutely. sisters. Absolutely. Um, so who is the pescatarian? You. Yep, it's me. And you're a meatitarian. <laughs> meatitarian. Let, let's, let's just talk salad. Okay, let's just get... So now we've got our guests, our loved ones. Let's just zone in on making the green stuff delicious, okay? Because, um, you know, just eating it is fine, but that's not going to really tickle all your taste buds. So let's just quickly don't come over here. Um, in the winter, um, right now in Britain, everyone thinks it's not a very attractive time of the year. Everything here, everything comes from my garden right now. So, we've got beautiful mustard cresses. We've got gem lettuce. Come over here, I want some close-ups. Here we go, who's on the close-ups? Um, we've got the lovely gem lettuce, standard but fresh and beautiful, okay? We've got the mustard cresses here. Uh, Can I eat some? Can you use it? Uh, yeah, go for it. Can I eat some of this? Yeah, tr try all of this. This is fennel. This is just starting to come out the ground, right? Um, this is radish tops, okay? This is chervil, a wonderful herb that's abundant at the moment. Over here's a wonderful one from our Italian brothers and sisters. This is called Castelfranco. It's, it's part of the radicchio family, so it's slightly bitter, um, along with chorizo, which is part of the radicchio family. Again, slightly bitter. Now, here's the thing, guys. Some of these things, real food, real flavor, um, do have bitter flavors. And, and historically, bitter flavors uh, were very much a part of all of our diets, and we've just kind of been trained, we trained off of it through sugar. Um, so our job in making this salad is to balance the bitter uh, to be delicious, you know, with the meat eaters, with smoky bacon, you know, for the, for the vegans with the sweet roasted pumpkin. Yeah. <clears throat> so we're gonna take a bunch of this stuff and go over here. That's so licorice. <clears throat> you what? That licorice, that is. Aniseed, that is delicious, there go. so good for you. So over here, let me just show you, if I can just put that over here, my bro. <clears throat> this is a really great recipe for all of you guys. Now, <clears throat> in every supermarket around Europe, certainly, you can get a butternut squash. Butternut squash is fantastic. Um, but this is my favorite. I grow this in the garden. In actual fact, this is from my garden. Um, this is an onion squash, okay? And I'm just gonna show you a quick preparation. Very carefully, these are, these are round, okay? They're dangerous, big knife. You know, I've, see, I've actually seen fingers come off. Right, so be very careful, fingers out the way, cut it in half. Come in. Now, um, seeds. With, with most food, with most food, the most nutritious part is the seeds. So our job is to kind of make it edible and delicious, because we want it. This boy wants it in his body if he's jumping up a building. So what we're gonna do... Um, no more entries, we're done, that's five minutes, so we're gonna pick a winner in a bit, okay? So you that's really it. scared me then, because it's, it's normally when DJ Barbecue shouts out no more entry, he's talking about something completely different. Uh, anyway, back to the seeds. 
Um, so we're going to take these seeds out and we're going to treat them. Uh, we're going to treat them like peanuts, okay? So we're just going to break them up and we're going to put them with a little cinnamon. I like to dedicate a spice to it. So one thing, one spice, salt, cinnamon, olive oil, toss it, roast it. I love pumpkin seeds. Man. And then you get this. Yes. Okay, so these are some roasted seeds. They're there for free. They're all good, fantastically good for you. So that's one little element. Then, with the squash, there's a certain bunch of flavors that really work. I wanna, come on, have a look. I wanna just cut these into little boats. Again, being very careful with the knives. Cut these into boats. You can do this once or twice a week and have it in the fridge for another day, make pastas, sauces, risottos out of it. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is just put this in a bowl and put some salt and pepper. That's the beginning of the story. But then the magic happens in here, guys. We've got some uh, coriander seed, just a teaspoon, okay, for one whole butternut squash or onion squash. Then a little pinch, that's cinnamon. I'm not gonna put that in because I wanna keep <laughs> things clear. Uh, if I had it, I'd put some fennel seeds in here and a little chili. So the chili, the chili not to be hot, guys, not to be hot. Right, um, just to be a background flavour to counteract, we were talking about balance earlier, so bitter, sweet, you know, sweetness, heat, you know, so really balancing it beautifully. And then we just toss it up, a little bit of olive oil, and we're just going to toss that up like that. And this, for some reason, for me, is like the mother recipe. If you do this, and if you roast this off, roast it at about 190 degrees Celsius, that's about 380 Fahrenheit. Uh, don't ask me what gas market is. Um, haven't learned that yet. Uh, we're gonna roast this off for about 40 minutes, right? And it looks then like this. I can trick my kids into thinking it's chips. Well, here's the thing, guys. I just want you to have a little, share that, girls. Um, have a little taste Andy. of that, right? You don't have to talk. You can just express your happiness or dislike through your eyes and your face. Um, what we've done here, guys, come and have a little look, is we've really no, intensified really the flavour, okay? And these spices just seem to balance mm. the flavour. So whether you're making a pizza, a crostini, smear it over. If you want to add stock to it and make a soup and liquidise it, fantastic. If you want to tear it up and put it into a salad or a pasta dish, beautiful. So let's make your lovely little salad. So, I'm going to try and be organised. I do struggle. If I may give you that, Joe, lovely girl. Um, in this bowl, we're gonna make a little dressing. If you can hold this. Go on, sweet pink. So we're gonna go in with a nice basic um, salad recipe. Now, what I'm gonna do is just, I'm looking around here. Is there any garlic, guys? A little bit of garlic. Um, what I wanna do, keep drizzling, my darling. This is um, extra virgin olive oil. It's cold pressed. They're picked early in October um, from the mountains of Tuscany. Um, this olive oil, along with a handful of those cold pressed olive oils, has the highest amount of polyphenols, anti-cancer things. It's full of goodness, okay? So we're gonna go about four tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, right? Then I'm gonna get one clove of garlic. I don't want a big hit of garlic. So what I'm gonna do is I'm literally just gonna rub it on the bowl. Just rub it. And what's amazing is just by rubbing it, amazing things happen. And no, we're not talking about DJ barbecue again. A little rub of um, the old garlic into this bowl. We're just gonna, put our balsamic vinegar, okay? So again, balance. Sweetness of the balsamic, the pepperiness of the olive oil. We've got those interesting bitter leaves, right? So we're gonna go in with some of these leaves right now. We've got wonderful herbs. Don't be afraid to use herbs, soft herbs, tarragon, basil, mint, chervil. Do not be afraid to get those in your salad, right? So we're gonna get that in as well. Beautiful, you can see the colors are gorgeous. Honestly, um, 15 years ago when I moved to my first flat, I had no garden, just a window box. And in like four window boxes, I used to grow this stuff. I used to grow this stuff. It's easy, three weeks to grow it, fantastic. So I think we're looking pretty good. What I'm gonna do now is just toss it like this. I wanna use, if you can do it for me, Nick. Just We're using our fairy fingers, okay? Hands up, hands up, brothers and sisters. Come on, fairy fingers, man. I want you to dig deep and find those fairy fingers. Whether you're big, whether you're strong, whether you think you're hard, fairy fingers we want to just the that point of this amazing. we just want to move it around we want to make sure that every leaf has lovely dressing okay so guys just try that basic salad right now that's that's not even embellished yet basic leaf and tell me about the garlic it should be super subtle super uh -oh. super subtle oh, that's so amazing. Good. it's the little things guys it's the little things that, that make the difference okay so let's rattle out my vegan brothers 
uh, salad first. Uh, I'm going to go with one of these. Uh, you alright? Yeah. We've got a hot crostini. Just toast it, get some half decent bread. No butter, yeah? Uh, no butter. Right, we don't really use, I don't use much butter, only in desserts, right? We're yeah. using the extra virgin olive oil. Right. And I'm going to give you a bottle of this to take home. Okay, thank you. Right? When it's hot, just rub it with rosemary and you can just break it up, you know, into like croutons, right? Like that. And then I've got my squash over here, right? And this squash is beautiful. And it's got carbohydrates, it's got yeah. loads of goodness. I like to turn it upside down. I like food to look, and I'm going to squash it into that bread. So I really like food that's kind of, I want it to be beautiful, but also I want it to be like nasty. I want it to be like nasty and naughty. So we're going to take the beautiful leaves like that. We got that, we got that squash. That pumpkin was so good. It we was got unbelievable that squash. Well, I hope that yeah. that pumpkin is like a new thing for you. It was, it was like almost cheesy. I don't know how, the texture was almost like a soft okay. cheese. So this, guys, is the beauty of cooking. Like, when you start to like have confidence, it was just some coriander seed, yeah. a little bit of chili, and it just works beautifully. So here's the first one for my new bro, Mr. Tim Sheaf. A little balsamic on the top, a beautiful roasted squash right. salad on toast for my brother. Thank you so much, man. But thank you. Thank then you we're going to go to my pescatarian over here. So she's not vegan, but we can take that same salad. We can take that same salad. Um, and I can take the same crostini and I can tear it up, right, like that. And then I can go for something beautiful like mozzarella. Some beautiful buffalo mozzarella. So let me just wash my hands because I've got balsamic hands. Here we go. Excuse, excuse hands. We're going to go in with our mozzarella made with buffalo milk. I import this myself for my restaurants every week. Look at that, just torn and uh, beautiful. And now we've opened it up, we want to love it, we want to care, we want to take care of every little stage. So a little, just a tiny pinch of salt, maybe a tiny pinch of pepper. If you care enough, just a tiny little bit of dry chili, tiny, tiny. If you really, really care, just a bit of lemon zest, oh my God. Right? And then a little kiss of oil again. But then we're going to get nasty again. And we're going to get our squash and we're going to just like make this a little bit more sprawly around here like that. Gorgeous. We're going to take a few of those leaves pinch them in, and a slightly more embellished version of exactly the same salad, right? Beautiful. But because my sister, from the Pixie Woos, <laughs> and make sure you go over to the channel, check it out. Uh, your wife will thank you for it, oh. right? I'm gonna give her that with buffalo mozzarella, but it hasn't finished there, okay? Take uh, a speed peeler, and you can peel a beautiful uh, cheese like this, which is nice, or just, sorry darling, just put it against you like that, and just scrape a knife and you get these little bits of cheese like that. But here's the thing guys, it's all about making things taste beautiful. Even a humble salad can be amazing. So there is yours. And now last but not least, our meat loving sister. Okay, we're gonna go exactly the same. Now we can kind of go triple pleasure, half a crostini, right? You can even lay off that if you're, if you're carb free. We're gonna go the buffalo mozzarella tear it again. We're going to go back to our new friend, Mr. Squash. I want people cooking this around the world. Uh, tell me what you're cooking with it. In the comments list, if you cook this, come back. Tell us what you cook with it. Uh, you know, there's a million things you can do. It's a wonderful little recipe, and I'd love to know what you do, and we love your comments. We're going to go back with the salad, like this, and this time I'm going to give it a little grating of Parmesan like that. And brothers and sisters, let's get a close up on that. This is the thing, even a salad can be beautiful. So, what next? I don't know. We are gonna throw this to my, we're not gonna throw it. I'm gonna give it to you. I'm gonna give you a nice little fork. Um, there you go. What, um, what's your thoughts on this, guys? It's amazing. You didn't put the meat on it. Oh, uh, bacon. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so glad. We got crispy bacon, okay? We got a lot of bacon. So we're just going to break. What I would have done, actually, is break it up and put it in the salad here and then yeah. put it through. But we ain't got time for that now. That's so okay, back to you. I can mix it's it. It's so good on its own. Like, you don't need to overcomplicate it sometimes. So you happy? I'm so happy. You happy? Yeah.